Hello everyone, this is Boricua Pinks and welcome back to Let's Play Murder by Numbers. In the last episode, we were investigating into Dick's murder. <laughs> Sorry, his name. <laughs> I'm so immature. But we have to deal with freaking Ryan following us around. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I think I was doing pretty well with those puzzles. They're getting, they're pretty tricky, but I think I handled the last two pretty well compared to that other one. But, uh, let's continue on now and speak to these people. Or should we investigate first? Uh, let's investigate first, actually. Get the puzzles over and done with. Anything? Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, this is big. Oh man. Um. I don't know. This is big, but I'm hoping big numbers will help me. <laughs> big numbers help me. So like seven, and then one, two, and then one could be in here anywhere. Ah, that throws me off. No, it could be anywhere. Actually, it could be. Feeling. It's probably like that because if you look at this is only four, so it, it could be. Hopefully I'm right. Do that for now. Um, this one, three, one, two, one, one. Okay. This one's another one that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, one. So those two rows are like a hundred percent for sure, which helps a lot. Um oh, which means those two could be Yeah. Let's see. Hard to say. Let's actually say... Because we know those ones are for sure. If we go based off of that, then we can do that. be like this because this is the one that's seven in a row hmm. um, it's nine in a row could be up here probably There's some big numbers in here. Um, I see a lot of like ones. So I'm feeling like that might be important. Like that, maybe. Um, could be these three? Potentially. Um, 
This one had three and four and two, which could be this or this. So probably this, but I'm not 100% sure. And they said 10? That's... okay. The 9 would make me think this then. Right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, because this one is 9. Seven. Okay. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, that's my eleven already. Four could be here. Okay. Okay, not bad. I freaked out when I saw how big it was, but it's actually working out pretty well. Mm. Wait. Oh no, what's this? was going so well and I'm realizing there's some problems <sighs> so uh, yeah the the vertical I'm seeing problems with the vertical I've been focusing too much on the horizontal going so well. It, no wonder it felt that it was going too well. <laughs> oh, Banks, you fool. Oh, no. Ah, 
okay, 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 hold on. This one... I feel like maybe I screwed up here. Yeah. Oh, maybe I misjudged. Uh, that's four, five. Okay, okay, maybe? Maybe not all hope is lost? Hold on, hold on, let's see. Fourteen, like that. Thirteen, like this. Uh, this three. This is too much. Uh, wait. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh... Yeah, that. Eleven. Uh. Nine. Ah! Uh, okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought. It was just small little fixes. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Woo! Someone must have drunk this without realizing. It's nice. Real leather. I wonder who it belongs to. We should try to return it. There's no ID inside. Just small bills and a check stub for... Fifty thousand dollars? Whoa. It was paid today. But I can't see who it was paid to, just an account number. Can I assume from your facial expression that fifty thousand dollars is a lot? It's a hell of a lot, especially back in the 90s. Hoo-wee. Maybe even enough to kill for. You know, I could be wrong, but I think Ryan used to have a wallet like this. Oh, really? Oh, that's all we had to investigate then. All right. Uh, I hope this, uh, there's like a little flying bug in here and it keeps getting attracted to my face because of my headset because <laughs> it um, it glows so I think the light is attracting it and that's why I had to put the mask on while I was solving the puzzle because I was like I don't want you flying in my face anymore okay please stay away from me bug bugs are like my number one worst like fear hatred they're just my weakness <laughs> okay Let's question Bobby first. What? Oh, it's you. Sorry, this whole thing with Dick has got me kind of bugged. Is it true what that guy said up on stage? You trying to find the killer? Yeah. I'm trying to find out what happened to Dick. Just like you did back at your TV studio. Damn, from playing a detective to being a real one. That's a wild career change. I, I'm not exactly a real detective. I'm just trying to help. Oh, for sure. That's cool. Wait, you don't think I did it, do you? I kind of like him and hope he's not a bad guy, but who knows, right? I'm not like that. Why would I throw my whole career away just to murder some old guy? Ah, uh, the money. It's no secret that you and Dick didn't get along. And when you left our table during the ceremony, you said you were going to give him a piece of your mind. 
That was just talk. Who would I pick a fight with Dick Stanford? If anything, he hated me for taking over his show. That's true. Do you know if anyone else wanted to hurt him? Probably a long list. He acts nice in public, but in real life, he's got a reputation. Have you talked to Kathleen? She put up with his grumpy ass for years. Oh, how about that chick who started screaming about how she should have won Best Actress? I don't think Becky would have killed him, but nice to see you uh, pointing fingers at people. Becky? As much as I may dislike her, she's not a killer. You sure about that? She looked crazy enough to do anything. Pretty cute, though. Dude, you need better taste than woman. <laughs> Alright. Did Kathleen not get along with Dick? They seemed kind of tense on stage. She had to work with Dick every day for almost 20 years. If it get tense, I'm surprised she's still sane. Alright. The girl who wanted to win Best Actress was Becky Call. She plays the lead in my show, Murder Miss Terry. I thought she looked familiar. She was pretty pissed about not getting that award. It was a big deal for her. I guess if anything could drive her to murder. People do crazy things sometimes, make mistakes in the heat of the moment. Doesn't make them a bad person. Hey, are you friends with her? I'd love to get her number. Really, dude? T to get her on back talk, I mean. I bet she'd be a great guest. Uh-huh. You took over back talk, right? Is that when your problems with Dick started? Yeah, and that asshole knows how to hold a grudge. I hadn't been on the air ten minutes and he was already talking shit about me to the press. He's too flashy. He's ruined the show. Sure, we updated things a little, but come on man, that set hadn't changed since 1979. Couldn't you just ignore him? Sure, but then the hate mail started coming in. He's got all these crazy fans like your mama. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My ratings crashed. They're already talking about canceling the show. Ah, oh, cancel culture. Ugh, so toxic. So your TV career was threatened by Dick. Would you say that made you angry? Oh, Scout, look at you. Well, yeah. But, but I wouldn't kill the guy over it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Do we have anything? Someone spilled whiskey in Dick's dressing room. Do you know anything about that? W whiskey? It must have been his. Uh-huh. Handprints? He found handprints around Dick's neck. Someone strangled him. Doesn't narrow it down much, does it? After all, everyone here has two hands. Ha ha ha. This is serious, Bobby. I know, I just, uh... I get nervous. Not because I'm guilty or anything. Just the whole situation. Uh, yeah. Bow tie? I don't know anything about that, sorry. Uh, okay. Speech. Have you read this Celeb Life article about Dick? No. Seeing his photo on the front cover was enough to put me off. It says there were some rumors going around about Dick. Figures. A lot of my crew worked on the old show with him. From what I hear, he wasn't e exactly easy to work with. Anything bad enough that someone wanted him might have wanted to kill him? Sorry, I don't remember. Hip flask? Do you recognize this hip flask? I is it yours? Detectives always have them in the movies. I've never seen one in real life before. Yeah, neither have I. A wallet. I don't know anything about that. Alright. Well, thank you, Bobby. Let's talk to Kathleen. I hear you're investigating what happened to Dick. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. I guess you've heard by now. Dick was strangled. Oh god, please. Don't tell me any more. I can hardly bear to think about it. How long did you and Dick work together on Backtalk? Oh, many years. 
I've heard people say it's hard to imagine there was a time before I was on the show. You weren't there from the start? I didn't join until the second season. They wanted someone who could attract more viewers. You should have seen the outfits they tried to squeeze me into. Hardly more than swimsuits some days. Oof. That's terrible. That's television. But I stood my ground. I like to think I made a difference. Alright. How was your relationship with Dick? Oh, we got on just fine. Girl, be honest with me. Really? When we met him, he was... Kind of an ass. This is Hollywood. Everyone has their problems. But I'm a professional. And people who complain get a... Reputation. Besides, no one wants to hear about backstage drama. They'd rather just relax and enjoy the show. Girl, that is not true. Everybody loves some drama these days. <laughs> Although, I don't think anyone was expecting the show they saw tonight. Alright. Oh, we're asking about our ex-husband. Do you know Ryan Blackstock? He was on stage earlier. Blackstock is his last name? Ooh. You mean tall, blonde, and handsome? I was wondering who that was. Funniest thing. I saw him with Dick earlier today. They were getting lunch at Dylan's on Fairfax. Really, Ryan? I thought you said you don't know him. Hmm. Lunch? Why would Ryan be getting lunch with Dick Stanford? Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever it was, it wasn't going very well. It seemed like they were arguing. Ooh, did Ryan do it? <gasps> he could get rid of her ex-husband. Woo! <laughs> That's probably why he was stalking us while we were, you know, investigating. He wanted to make sure we weren't figuring out it was him. I wish I could tell you more, but I was in a cab at the time. I only caught a glimpse. You don't... You don't think it could be related to what happened to Dick, do you? Alright. What do you know about Bobby Price? He's like, I'm right here, I can hear you. <laughs> he's talented, but he's got big shoes to fill if he wants to keep hosting Backtalk. He doesn't seem to be much of a fan of Dick. They never saw eye to eye. Dick hated having his show taken away from him. And Bobby hated working in Dick's shadow. Hated it enough to kill Dick? Bobby is young, ambitious, and impulsive. More than that, I can't say. Uh-huh. How about some evidence? Um... Why are you showing me that? I don't know. Okay. Why are you showing me that? <laughs> okay, lady, please. Have you seen this article about Dick and celeb life? Of course. Dick was very proud of his front page billing. I'm guessing he was less happy when he saw how the article ended. Something about rumors. We're still missing part of the article. Let me guess. The entire last page was torn out. Dick did that to every copy he could get his hands on. He never could take criticism very well. Personally, I think it's good that these magazines do a little digging occasionally. Call it investigative journalism, if you like. So you think there's some truth to the rumors they printed? Can you tell us more about what they were? Aw, oh, man. Sorry, I'd love to talk, but I have to take this. Well, uh, Kathleen? Yeah, Kathleen, come back. Does this belong to Dick? I don't think so. But you saw what he was like on stage tonight. Drunk as a sailor. Is there a chance the hip flask belongs to anyone else? We should investigate every possibility. Well, it could be Bobby's. I've heard he started drinking to cope with the stress. The production team aren't happy. Imagine going through all the trouble of rebooting a talk show 
just for the new house to get carted off to rehab. Okay. Any idea whose wallet this might be? Sorry, I don't recognize it. Oh no, it's gonna cut off again. Every time. Every time. I knew it. Ah, how convenient. Whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's uh, a good place to leave off. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go back and investigate um, in the dressing room again. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.